Henry Toto, if you guys want to raise your hand in the chat, we'll uh, get these get started. Uh, Gustavo. Henry, how do you saw the lack of pressure that the Tennessee defense put on Kyle? Uh, do you see that Tennessee could have been more pressure in the Florida quarterback? Um, you know, we really, we really just need to do a better job of of covering the guys getting on, getting off on third down. Um, Kyle Trash is a, a a good pocket passer, um, so we could have put more pressure on it. Um, no, nowhere to point fingers. Um, we're a defense as a whole, so I think we could have did a better job of that. Wes, um, Henry, I know, I know that Kyle Pitts is obviously a really good player, and y'all kind of held him in check for a while, and then he kind of showed up and made some big plays. What? How do you feel like y'all did against him? Uh, Kyle Pitts is a great player. You know, we all know it. Um, he has a good catch radius. Um, he can catch the ball anywhere. Um, you know, we just got to make plays. You know, when the moment's presented to you, um, when the opportunity's there, we just got to make plays. And what about those those third down frustrations? I know that especially there at the end of the first half, you know, they got a couple third longs and stayed on the field. How much of kind of a, a, a morale loss is that, you know, kind of getting off the field would have been big there? Yeah, uh, it would have been huge. Um, you know, that's that's the difference between um, getting a turnover or them scoring a touchdown or a field goal. Um, between them putting points on the board and us putting points on the board. So, uh, you know, we just got to be able to look back at it, execute. You know, execution is um, – us playing is not the problem. Um, we just got to be able to execute at a higher level every single down. Eric? Hey, Henry, Monis, the, uh, the first minute and a half or so of that second half um, – you guys really locked down defensively the third quarter. Kind of what changed for you guys to force a turnover on downs, get a couple three and outs, and really kind of finish that quarter off strong? Um, you know, one thing I told the other guys that Tennessee football, we're never going to quit. You know, we're always going to try to fight to the very end. We're always going to give our best punch um, to the very end, and that's how it's always going to be. Um, you know, we know as, as a whole, as a defense, that we have to play hard, um, you know, every single down. Wes? Henry, I know I don't know what the exact number was. Maybe it was 16, 18, 19, whatever it was, guys that have missed practice for the past couple of weeks. How much of a concern was that going into the game? And, and how do you think some of those guys performed? Um, you know, it's hard to practice without guys at practice. You know, it's hard to get a groove going. Um, it's hard to, you know, for someone who's not in practice to learn the game plan. So, uh, you know, I think we all did a really good job of the guys who were out. Um, hopping on the Zoom calls, participating in the Zoom calls, um, you know, doing what they're supposed to do, uh, watching the film. Um, you know, we test those guys and um, see if they really knew what floor was about. So, um, you know, it's never good to have guys out. Um, we always want everybody at practice working together. Um, you know, we just got to be – it's a day and age now, so we just got to learn from it. Uh, Eric again. Henry, uh, you know, Florida ran it 17 times tonight. You knew Florida was going to throw it a lot with Kyle Trask, and obviously Florida did throw it a lot. But were you surprised that uh, the team just kind of abandoned the run game the way it did? Uh, you know, we – we not really. Um, we knew that they were trying to, you know, pat his stats up, um, throw the ball as much as they can for him. Um, so we just had to do a better job of executing. You know, there's here plays here and there that we could have had. Um, we could have got off the field, you know, minimized his yardage or minimized their success that they had as a team. Um, we just got to execute. That's the biggest thing, our execution. Uh, Wes? Henry, I know that, that, you know, you certainly don't go into a season hoping to go or thinking you're going to go on a six-game losing streak. What, what have you learned about this team, you know, in the past couple months? I know it's been been a rough go, but what have you kind of learned about this team? Um, You know, I, this, I wouldn't trade this team for anything. You know, we've been through so much as a, a team um, that created us as a family. You know, I look at every single one of these guys um, as my brothers and all these coaches um, as family. You know, um, that's one thing that I kind of realized that we all grown closer together. Um, we realized that we have to take, you know, the film study, the practice, um, things like that more serious to where we can be able to come out on Saturdays and execute. Um, the dogfight is in us and we will always have the dogfight, but being able to learn from the mental aspect and, and grow from there every single every single week. Any more questions for Henry? All right, thank you, Henry. Appreciate it.